How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Going Medieval. Welcome back to Thatcham, where things are going pretty darn well indeed. I certainly can't complain. We have Goldina over here finishing up the mining that we had going on for the underground storage, which is now done, which is great news. Now, my thinking for this is that we're basically going to build some walls around this upper part. We're going to put some doors at this end, and then we're going to go down underground. And uh, essentially, that's where storage is going to live. That's, that's kind of going to be the idea. So what I want to do is mine out that bit, and mine out that bit, and hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of my thinking is we're basically going to mine out as much of this as we... I, I could mine out more here, and maybe I will. Maybe that would be the way to do it. Kind of mine out this bit and do more stairs deeper underground. But I'm not so sure. You know what? Uh, no, let's... Let's let's, uh, let's try it. Let's try it on one side. Because here's the thing. I can put some, uh, some beams down here, and I can put some more floors uh, into this level, even if we do mine it out. So... We'll see how that ends up going. We'll mine out that half of that space. And eventually, we'll move storage deep underground into deep storage. And everything should be beautiful. Settler has wounds needing tended to. Hello. Oh. Um, I think Allison just beat that deer to death with her bare hands. I'm honestly not even mad. That's kind of impressive. What kind of wounds are you looking at, though? Bruised leg? Okay, well. That's, that's fair enough. Um, Cassandra, can I get you to prioritize constructing that staircase, please? Because if I can get you doing that, we can get that mining going a little bit sooner than later. And, uh, that's going to be really, really useful for us. Is, is what that's going to be. So, if we can get that done, it would be lovely. Um, I am realizing that all of our wood is still very much down here. And we actually don't have that much of it left. So... I think, unfortunately, we are going to have to chop down this tree. And we're going to have to chop down some trees nearby as well. Uh, because I think the resources are just ending up way too far apart. Um, I also want to cancel this. Because I think I might have done... No, the chopper order doesn't do anything. So we will just uh, harvest these guys. We'll chop down those trees and we'll get everything going. Uh, Goldina is doing some mining here already, which is lovely. So basically, I'm just curious to see if this works the way I want it to work, right? So my thinking is, you know, we build a second staircase straight down and then that storage ends up being, you know, that that bit deeper down there. And I think that's kind of, uh, I think that's going to be pretty good for us. You know, I think having storage way, way underground is going to keep it even colder. Because I'd mentioned before, and I have mentioned before, you know, I played this game for a couple of hours when I first found out about it, and that was about a month ago. So, I did get to this point where we had to start putting things underground. I just, I only went down one level. So, I'm curious to see what happens if I want to go down two levels. So, if I go to here and I go to, you know, wooden staircase, I want to see if I can double them up like that. I want to see if that's something the game will let me do. Because if it does, that would be kind of cool. So, Cassandra, if I could get you to prioritize that staircase. Allison, you are currently sleeping. Um, which, I mean... I don't know if you need to be sleeping or not. I guess everybody's sleeping because it's nighttime. Which, I guess... Yeah, I mean, schedule-wise... I, I Here's what I'm thinking. Let's change out the schedule so that they all go to bed at uh, 10. And then they do anything, right? So they can get up whenever. They're not going to be forced to stay asleep until a certain time. They will all go to sleep at 10 or whatever. And then they can kind of just do anything, get up whenever they want, right? I am going to say let's have a little bit of uh, forced kind of leisure in the middle of the day for, let's say, two hours. And let's have a little bit of work either side of that, just to make sure that they are working. But then anything else can be... And maybe a little bit of leisure before sleep as well. That seems like a pretty good little setup there. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. 
Also, I really hope you aren't about to get stuck. No, you're fine. Well, we'll see how fine you end up being thinking about it. You you better not get stuck. I'm I'm a little concerned, Goldina. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit concerned there. Please, please don't get stuck. Because this game's not as easy. I don't think this game's going to be as easy to get people unstuck from, uh, from places as it is in something like Stonehearth, so... We'll see how that plays out, is, uh, is what we'll do. We will, uh, we will certainly see how that plays out. Uh, now, here's what I'm thinking as well. I think we need to get another backgammon table. And I'm gonna put it there. Because I'm realizing we have, uh, five people and one backgammon table right now. So I think another one's probably gonna be relatively useful for us. And I'm also thinking that uh, it might not be terrible to get another one of these guys. Or even two of them. And kind of go there and there with it. Just to brighten up that little space. And then maybe one, say, there as well. And say, there as well. And you know what? We'll go there too. Just to kind of brighten up the space a little bit, you know? Make it a little bit less uh, dark at night. We'll get some, uh, get some of those guys in there just to brighten it up, keep it a bit warmer as well. I think that'd be kind of cool. And uh, I think we could get one in here too. So let's go and just put one right about there. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that works out. Uh, now the good news is this is all coming together as well. We have Allison still out hunting at the minute, which I imagine is going to take a while since there's a lot of things that I did mark for hunting. But, uh, all in all, this, this is coming together. Now, let's have you prioritize that staircase, please. Because... I just, I just kind of want you to. I'm not gonna lie. I just kind of want you to. So, if we get that going... Can we now have... Flourishing Thatcham grows more influential in the region with each day that passes. This is sure to attract more settlers and perhaps garner unwanted attention. Oh, boy. Well, I'm sure we're going to be fine. Uh, so what are you doing? Oh, you're mining that out. Fantastic. Okay, so that's going to work exactly as I wanted it to. So let's go ahead and mine that out as well. And, uh, yeah, I can have this sort of double depth, deep storage thing going on that I really want to do. That's, that's going to be kind of cool. That is, that is going to be kind of cool down there. Both literally and... <laughs> Uh, that was a... I would love to say that was an intentional intentional pun, but uh, no. No, it was not. And not in the slightest. Maybe maybe next time. Uh, let's go ahead and get another one of these guys here as well. I want to just see what that looks like, having all these, uh, all these things in there. I want to see if it makes the space any warmer as well. So it's 16.5 there, and as we move away, it's absolutely no warmer. So I guess it doesn't really do anything. It is... How warm is it in here? 25.0. Not bad. Absolutely not bad. Uh, who's exhausted? You're exhausted, and who lacks a ranged weapon? Cassandra. Now, you are... I'm going to just set you to not be a hunter. Because you're not going to get a ranged weapon for a little while, and you're kind of going to have to deal with that. And then in terms of research, I mean... Yeah, we have nine available chronicles, and we kind of need 20 to be able to start making new ranged weapons, so that's that's going to be a thing. And I am thinking, as much as food preservation would be lovely, and, you know, getting in to start making uh, fireplaces and hearths and whatnot, uh, I don't, I don't know that we're going to, you know, go straight into that. Also, thinking about it, if I look at the room overlays... Wasn't a kitchen, it requires one stove. Is is this counted as a stove? So campfire. I don't know if it I don't know if it does count as a stove or not. I really have no I, I have no idea. I because the thing is it's not a stove, right? It's objectively not a stove. But I'm noticing, like, I can get a kiln, I can get furnaces, uh, I can go to cooking, and I can get hearths, which I imagine are probably stoves, right? 
So I'm, I'm wondering if that's kind of what I like if a hearth is how I'll make a kitchen. Because those are smoke houses. So I don't know. I'm I'm actually not too sure what way that's necessarily gonna work, but that's uh that's fine. Let's go back into here. Get ourselves another staircase going. Settlers are becoming annoyed. Desperately thirsty. Ugly apparel, moderately tired, ate raw food. That's not good. That's definitely not good. We kind of need them to not be uh, not be miserable, but, well, they are. So, hopefully we can deal with that. Uh, let's go ahead and start looking underground a little bit, though. Because here is my thinking. I want to go ahead and I want to start mining out a little bit more down here. I don't know how far out I can go, though. So we'll mine that and we'll mine that. And if I go up... Yeah, so we're, we're chopping into the hills a little bit there. Um, which is fine. I'm thinking I'm going to cancel this middle part, though. So cancel those two. And then I'm thinking I'm going to say mine a little further back. Because what I can probably do is put some frames in there. I don't know if the game actually does anything with, like, you know, buildings collapsing or whatever. So it's probably worth being careful, right? It's it's probably worth being careful. So we'll do something like that. And that should be a pretty good chunk of storage space. I would imagine. Right? So that, that should be fine. That's a lot of mining to do. But once it's done, I can go ahead and put some proper floors down here. I can uh, just make it, you know, a bit better, I guess. It's also going pretty quick when uh, Anwind gets to it. So, yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. Hopefully it doesn't collapse and kill anybody. I, I have no idea. I genuinely don't know. So, hopefully... Hopefully it doesn't collapse and kill anybody. That's that's the best we've got. That is that is all we've got right now. So, you know, we'll we'll find out, I guess. Uh we can also have a look here. Summer days from start is 16. Each season is 12 days. So we're not halfway through summer yet. Spring brings moderate temperature with rain and fog. Summer has high temperature with a chance of heat waves. Awesome has moderate temperature with a chance of rain and fog, uh, as well as thunderstorms and hailstorms. Winter is low temperature, high chance of snow and blizzard, chance of cold snaps. Vegetation will not grow in low temperatures, so ensure that you sow and harvest as much as you can before winter. Yeah, that seems... Uh, that seems fair enough, I guess. Um, what is that? Vegetable rot. Why are my vegetables rotting? Do we not have anywhere to store them? I mean, we do. I guess no one's hauling at the minute. I guess everybody's kind of busy with other things. But I guess, you know, this underground storage will come in useful once it's done. So we'll have that going for us. It's just going to take a minute, I guess. I'm also wondering if the... The fact that I've not forced them to sleep the entire night is causing them to be a little bit weird. Because, I mean, you, you've been asleep. That was like four hours of sleep for good old Uthrid there. And if we have a look... Yeah, they... I mean... So, they are, he is well-rested. He's just not as well-rested as I'd like. He's also making alcohol, which is kind of a big deal. So, what are you actually making? You're preparing food. I don't know what you've prepared, though. But fair enough, I guess. What are you doing? So you're enjoying that? Well, I guess whatever, you know. they He, he made some alcohol, so I'm not really going to complain too much. Not a whole lot to complain about. Uh, this is also very nearly done, which is lovely news. Um, slight question. Oh, there is a... It looked like for a second there wasn't a roof on a section of that, but there absolutely is. Um, what are you doing? So you're building that staircase. Okay. Can I get someone to finish that window, please? Because that, you know, it would be kind of nice. Wait, need to clear the area first. Oh. Is this done? Oh, this is nearly done. It's also considered a spare room, but I guess that's okay. 
Um, if we have a little look down below, this is all coming together very nicely as well. And then this can all just be turned into... This is all going to need uh, some kind of flooring down here as well. And then it needs to be enclosed in a building. So maybe that's something we should do sooner than later. Is start laying out the building that's going to surround this. Because essentially it's going to be this. And this is all the building is going to be. Is just space for... You know, that, that staircase and the pit. Also, those look like they're backwards. Can I, uh, can I have those not be backwards, please? So a nice door there and there. Much better. And then we'll do a nice set of windows there and there. And I guess we can do some windows kind of dotted along the uh, sides as well. And that looks all right. Let's get a nice thatch roof on that. And uh, that way, that whole thing will be enclosed. It'll be nice and cold down there. We're not going to put any any uh, any lights because I think that might, you know, make it a little bit warmer since it's fire. But that should be fine. Hopefully. Can I get someone to, uh, to move that pile of sticks, please? I don't think I can. Um, no, don't prioritize mining. Hold a stockpile, please. There we go. So we'll get that moved. Uh, Cassandra is sleeping at the minute. Allison's constructing. Can I get you to prioritize constructing that window instead? So that that building is actually finished. Because that'd be kind of nice, you know, not having this thing just sitting here completely undone. Also, what is your construction level right now, Allison? Uh, 13. Not bad. Also, is this, this is done. Okay. Let's just produce that forever. And let's go ahead and deconstruct this old research table because we're starting to get the library done this is actually going pretty well in terms of getting everything built i'm pretty pleased about this i am genuinely pretty pleased about this you know we're seeing uh we're seeing a lot of things come together we got this thing to do we've got the underground bit to go which admittedly hasn't collapsed on anybody yet so no one's dead it's good it's what you want to see it is absolutely what you want to see. Uh, what I don't want to see is all this rot going on, though. I'm really not sure why none of that's getting moved. Again, I guess it's maybe just not the priority right now. Maybe it will be once, you know, all the construction and stuff's done. Uh, in terms of jobs, I mean, hauling is the least important thing that they do. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, we actually have a little bit of wine down here, and Goldina's decided that uh, she's going to drink it, which is fair enough. I mean, I guess that's going to cheer them up. Oh, my God. Did you just So Goldina just had a barrel of wine and went straight to bed. I, I can respect it. I'm not going to lie. I can I can respect it. That's 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 living, I guess. <laughs> that's that's fair enough. That is, uh, that is totally fair. I'm not judging. I'm genuinely not judging. You know, after... Spending a day down mining all of this out, I can't really blame Goldina for being like, yeah, I'm going to drink a barrel of wine and go to bed at 12 in the afternoon. You know? That's 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 fair. And then pray for forgiveness afterwards. <laughs> Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness, Goldina. That's 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 clearly your uh, your motto in life. <laughs> OK, I, uh, I I don't know. That's that's fine. Um, so this is all done. This is very nearly done. This actually just needs its roof gone on and the, uh, last little bit of, uh, bookcase in the corner there as well. And then we'll have a library, which is, in fact, we do have a library. So how's this thing? It's 120% speed because it's a library. That's, that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. I really do like that a lot. Uh, now... Here's the question. We have a lot of clay lying around. Can I... So... Oh, no, 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 no. That's... That's not ideal, is what that is. Um, let me change the schedule around a little bit. Let me say that you guys are going to bed at that time. And I'm gonna... I'm, so, how many hours did they sleep? Like, 
six, one, two, three, four, five. Let me just let them sleep until like for all of that time. So they're going to be kind of working or sleeping rather during the, uh, the bulk of this heat wave. And we'll see how that ends up going. I don't imagine they're going to be thrilled at having this thing in their room. I can turn these off, which I think is going to be a pretty good idea. Because they are just, uh, you know, dumping heat out into the rooms. So we'll turn that off. Uh, this one as well, if I can get to it, which I, I'm struggling to, but there we go. So we'll turn those all off as soon as we possibly can. And, uh, I mean, everybody... Well, not everybody's asleep. Allison, what are you doing? Oh, you're building this. Well, fair enough. That's, uh, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But, uh, if you could, Allison, I would really like you to prioritize, uh, you know, turning that thing off. So, extinguish, if you wouldn't mind, and extinguish. Oh, and wind is 49 today. I don't want you to deconstruct anything. I want you to uh, extinguish that thing. Or anybody to extinguish that thing, please. Uh, Goldina, for example, extinguish. And then that one in there is just very, very tricky to get at. A bit of a pain to get at that one. Um, there we go. So extinguish that as well. So that should cool the rooms down a little bit, which is kind of what we need. Uh, this is all coming together. The mining is coming together as well, which is great. It is still very warm in there, but that's all right. We'll not worry too much about it. Uh, although I would, I would really like to, uh, start putting some floors down in there. So we don't have a lot of wood. We do have a lot of, you know, we can, we can do wicker. So I think that's kind of what we're going to do. It's sort of a nice wicker uh, floor down here. We'll do the same in there as well. And we can kind of do the same once that bit's gone as well. So we'll do that. So just a wicker floor on the entire thing. And that shouldn't take too long to build. Settlers are suffering from excess heat. That's not good. But hopefully having them kind of sleep through the day is going to help a little bit. Because it's what? It's 35.7 outside. It's 19.2 in that room. So, you know, that that I'm thinking is, is going to work out for us. You know, having them go and sleep through the, the bulk of the heat wave. I think that'll work. I hope that'll work. At least they've, you know, they've all gone to bed. They're all listening to instructions and whatnot. And they're going to sleep until... When is it they wake up? They wake up at 6. So, yeah. They're, they're going to be sleeping through the worst of it. And I'm curious to see what, uh, what the temperature ends up being at 6 when they do wake up. Because it does look like it's dropping. If we notice in the top right, it's 35.7 at 3 o'clock. 34.2 at 4 then as we go into 5 o'clock, it's 32.4. And then at 6 o'clock, whenever that comes up, it's 30.5. So yeah, the temperature does seem to peak in kind of the middle of the day. And then gradually get colder as we move into the night. So just like real life, essentially. So we're keeping them in, uh, you know, 19 point whatever degrees during the day in the, uh, the houses. And then, yeah, everything's fine. So let's go ahead and chop down a few more trees because we are going to need to be doing that. We'll chop down all these ones as well. And uh, you guys too. And we're going to need to start growing trees ourselves, I think. Because we're definitely starting to run into an issue where we don't have trees nearby. So I think growing some of our own is going to be pretty useful. Uh, also, getting this all finished would be lovely, but it's just going to take its time, I guess. The thing I'm most looking forward to with this, I suppose, is just getting all the food down here. And I'm hoping that works out. I'm hoping moving all the food down here ends up being a good thing. I don't imagine, you know, I, I imagine once this is actually all built, it will be nice and cold in there. I would have to imagine. And I'd have to hope. 
because that's kind of all I can do is just imagine and hope that it's going to be all right. But uh, I suppose the good news is that is actually the last bit of construction that we need to do right now. So not all that long at all until this is uh, completely done. And then I want to start looking into stone because here's the thing. I saw a screenshot of this game recently. I think it was tweeted out by the... Uh, it was tweeted out on the game's official Twitter. And people have built, like, proper castles in this thing. People have gone kind of nuts with the building in this. So building a proper castle would be kind of cool. You know? I, I think that would be really, really interesting to do. You know, building some kind of proper castle with access to the, uh, the underground levels to make it, you know that bit better for storage i imagine it would be nice and cool inside as well during heat waves so i don't know that's that seems kind of interesting to me getting the castle going also this is so close to being done that is kind of perfect so let's go ahead and get that bit of floor just there that bit of floor just there we'll get that bit just there and once that's gone we can get the last little bit in there as well oh the heat waves over good well, that's fine. I guess what we can go ahead and do is set everybody back to uh, normal sleep schedules. So everybody is going to go back to sleeping at 10, but they can do a little bit of leisure for the two hours just before that. So that'll kind of work out. That'll just let them, you know, go to bed in a good mood, I would, uh, I would imagine. In fact, no, let's change that so they can have some leisure at eight, do anything at nine, and then go to bed. So if they want to get some food before bed, they can, rather than being forced into, uh, you know, going and playing backgammon or something like that. Letting them kind of do what they want to do definitely seems like the, the better idea. Now, I'm actually really excited about this. I'm not going to lie. We got two bits of roof to go on. We got one bit of wall to go in. So if we could just, if we could just finish that, that would be kind of great. So prioritize that wall. Oh, the area needs cleared first. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, uh, you. Can I get you to hold that to the stockpile, please? And then you to, I need that hold to the stockpile as well. So we'll just get those out of there. Allison can go and prioritize that wall. Cassandra can prioritize that window. And then it's just the two sections of roof that need to go on there. And then we're good. So Allison's going to go get some food. That's fine. Cassandra is failing at the window, which is not fine, but okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm also noticing everybody's kind of gone to bed a little bit earlier, which I guess given that they, oh yeah, they're forced into, uh, they're forced into, uh, leisure right now, aren't they? Okay, well, fair enough. I imagine some of them are going to go back to bed right now, and then some of them are just going to sleep through because they have to go to bed at 10. So Uthrid is doing a bit of gardening, but then goes straight to bed. And yeah, everybody's just gone to have a bit of a sleep, which is totally fine. I'm also realizing I only left a gap of two between uh, these two buildings. Everyone else has a gap of three. That's more annoying than it has any right to be. I'm not going to lie. That is a lot more annoying than it has any right to be. But whatever, it's fine. We'll not stress about it. Uh... Anwind is up and going. Cassandra is up and constructing. Can I get you to do the the roof? No. Can I get you to do the window then, please? Because I'd really like this to be done. I want the building done so I can see how cold it is underground. Uh, now do the roof. And Allison, I need you to do that roof. Wait, hold on a minute. Allison, please. Hello, there you go. All right. Now do that one. Okay. So you're getting the materials, you're building the roof, construction failed, <laughs> there we go. So now that's a spare room, how cold is it? 4.6 in there. 
And then it's 16. No, that's technically. Is that outside? I don't. I don't actually know. Yeah, it's 4.8. Okay. I mean, that's that's not that cold, but it's certainly colder. Um, we do have all this stuff needing moved as well, but here's what I'm thinking. Let's pause. Let's go to stockpile. Let's set that as a stockpile. Let's set that as a stock. Wait, can I not? Can I not do that? Am I not able to set? Why can I not set that as a stockpile? Can the corners not touch? That's a bit weird. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Um, can I just get rid of that one then? And I'll expand you to there. We'll expand you to there. And uh, we'll go to stockpiles. We'll say there. And we'll say there. So now what we can do is clear everything. And I'm going to say that animal carcasses can go on that one, I guess. This one can be clear everything. And this one's going to be food. Which I think is fair enough. And I think this one can be food as well. So clear all and do food. This one is going to be clear all and do medicine. And this one is going to be... Materials, no. Warfare, waste, books. So what is materials... So that's, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like raw food. So meals. So yeah, that includes... So food just includes raw as well. So let's clear all, do food, but not raw. And then this one is carcasses. This one is everything. This one is food, except it's only raw. And I think that's fair enough. And then this guy can be... I don't really know what this guy can be, to be totally honest with you. Um, so you are medicine. You are all food and stimulants. You are raw food. I guess you could be raw food as well. Because we have a good amount of it. And we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how that ends up going. Can I put... Uh, can I do beams down here? I actually can, which is pretty cool. So let's do just... Let's just do some beams around here to make it look like this is actually supported. Because I think that's... That's, that's only fair, you know? Making it look like this thing is actually held up and actually supported. Otherwise, you know, it's it's a little bit silly. But that's kind of cool. That's going to be underground storage. Or it is underground storage. Now everybody can kind of go about doing their thing. They've got to build the floors down there. Got to build the beams down there. But once all that's done, everybody kind of goes back to doing other things. Which is kind of exciting, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see people going back and just doing other things. Because right now, it's been construction for the last couple of hours. But soon enough, it's going to be research. It's going to be cooking. It's going to be brewing. It's going to be farming. Uh, there is more mining to do. Because I would... Ooh. They wanted slaves. They demanded blood. Indiscriminate raiders intent on pillage and plunder charged into your village. And oh, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have some good gear, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Little worrying. Um, everyone does have stuff. We don't have any ranged weapons right now, though, other than Allison. So let's select everybody. Let's gather them together. Move them all to that spot. And let's try and take the fight to them a little bit. Enemies have started their attack. That's okay. Because here's what I'm thinking. Allison has pretty good range, right? So let's move Allison to there. Let's move you guys to there. And let's just focus. There's two of them right there. This one has a shield, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. We're going to do our best. One dead. Let's go for this one. Try and take him down as quick as we can. This guy's attacking Allison, which is kind of a problem. Kind of need to take him out. Oh, settlers are unconscious. Goldina's down. Okay. Wilfred needs to go. Um, 
Someone's in critical condition. That's not good. Both thread is hurting real bad. I don't think I can move him. No, he's down. Uh-oh. Let's try and take out Edgar here. I think if we can maybe do that, they'll flee. Maybe. What? Defeat? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Okay, hold on a minute. So, it says defeat, but we're still... We're, we're okay. Um, Anwind... Carry, um... And you carry Cassandra? What do you mean running away? Hello? What are you running? Don't run away! No, 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 no. You need to come carry Uthred. And you need to carry, um, Cassandra. As quick as you can. Now, Allison being alive is good, because Allison's the main doctor. So I need you to tend to his wounds, and Anwind, I need you to go and get Goldina. That was rough, man. I can just go ahead and allow all of this, though. All right. Tending to wounds failed. How's Cassandra doing? Let's have a look. Um. Okay. That's not good. Allison is... Praying. That's not very helpful right now, Allison. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'd, I'd rather you were dealing with the wounds. How is that failing? You're a, you're the doctor. You're a level 19 doctor. What do you mean that failed? How did it fail? Okay, this is good. That's progress. Wounds tended, right? Okay, so all of your wounds have been tended to. Yours have not. So I need you to tend to those wounds, and then someone needs to tend to your wounds, I think. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Wounds have been tended to, so you're okay. You're bruised. Goldina is bruised as well. Now... Let's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure about this. So at least you're patched up. You're not. So I kind of need you to like, I, I kind of need them to just chill, but I, I can't force them to go to bed. So Allison needs, uh, needs her wounds tended to. Who's the next best doctor? It's going to be Uthred, who isn't doing too good himself. Uh, Cassandra's level 7. Can I get you to prioritize tending to Allison's wounds, please? If you wouldn't mind. That was rough. I, I think we're gonna need to really prioritize research. I'm not gonna lie. I think research and then going straight into weapons is, is kind of gonna be a big deal. Where the hell is Cassandra? Oh, you can barely bloody move. Well, that's gonna suck for a while. Um, and, okay, that, that's, that's fine too, I guess. Um, Allison, your wounds really, really need tended to. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> kind of really need tended to. Uh, Goldina, where are you? You're hungry? I don't know. I don't know, man. If they're not gonna rest, I can't tend to their wounds, you know? If they're not gonna rest, there's not a whole lot I can do. I guess the silver lining is... Construction is done, right? Except for that bit. So construction's largely done. It's just... Oh, wait. Allison is lying down now. So, Goldina, can I get you to uh, prioritize tending to Allison, please? Even if you are incredibly slow. And Allison's back. Oh, for God's sake. Allison's wounds are never going to get properly tended to. Oh, wait, no, hold on a minute. Um, Goldina, I need, I kind of need you to uh, actually tend to those wounds now, please. You are you are painfully slow. Uh, Cassandra, hold on a minute. Goldina, go ahead and, like, cut that down. Cassandra, tend to those wounds, please. You're also, and wind, I don't know how good of a doctor you are, but at least you're fast. So go try and tend to those wounds. And we'll see how that goes. 
So there we go. Allison is no longer in a bad way. Goldina, on the other hand, Goldina needs to lie down and rest. But other than that, what are you doing? Auto equipping. Okay. That's, that's, I don't know that that's a priority. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that auto equipping that was, was really worth it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you're back in your feet. <laughs> okay. I don't, oh, for God's sake. Um, yeah, so we kind of need to go and get Goldina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sake! We kind of... Stop, stop, stop getting up. All right, there we go. So now you're going to a bed. You're going to stay there. We're going to tend to your bloody wounds, all right? Stay right there. We're going to treat you. And now you can actually start getting better. Good Lord. That was, uh... Was the whole thing oh man we we desperately need research we desperately need research so let's have a look here we have a lot of people doing plant cutting let's say that cassandra even though you're decent at it i'm gonna bring that down a little bit because we kind of need you doing research and wind is very good at it as well but also very good at research. But I think uh, Cassandra is kind of going to be our main constructor and also our main researcher. And hopefully, hopefully that's going to work out for us. Okay. That's a very big hopefully, but hopefully.